Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're looking at the ECF Dove Extended Model for today's second video. And wow, 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 this is going to take us towards the end of July. Can you believe that? Six weeks on care for the UK and Ireland with EC. <laughs> I'll get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first. The video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. What we care forecast, we've got a 10 14 there and the fifth update for 2023 Glass and Festival. Five videos today. I'm going to be on an iron line. <laughs> tonight um but no it's all good you know epic summer at gas weather it says you join if you're enjoying if you're enjoying the content on the channel at the moment please like share and subscribe thank you so much everybody for doing that and thank you so much ec for supplying the charts thank you so very much ec Right, let's start off with the week one 500 millibar height anomaly main share. It's going to take from next week, the 19th through the 26th of July. We get to the 3rd, 26th June, we get to the 31st of July with this update. Wow, wow, wow. But week one will be the uh, 19th to the 26th of June. Let's see what next week has in store then. So low pressure is out in the Atlantic Ocean. By the way, we give a wider European outlook with this one on a Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is just focusing on um on this is just focusing on the UK and Ireland. Okay, so the wider European outlook is on a Tuesday uh, with this extended European outlook. Right. So next week, low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure across uh, many parts of Europe. We should be bringing up a southerly wind. So looks un looks uh, a little bit unsettled, quite warm, but uh, and volatile. 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Again, we have the above average heights over to the east of the country, below average heights out to west. And again, up are coming most southerly winds. Goodness gracious. Temperature anomaly is there next week. Look very warm. Hot even. Notice how hot it is over Scandinavia. There we're like um, nearly 10 degrees above average. For the UK island, we're like 3 to 6 degrees above normal widely across many places. But it is a little bit wetter than average. And that is down to thundery developments, thunderstorms being triggered by that low pressure in the Atlantic combining with the heat and the humidity. So hot and thundery. Uh, by the look of it next week. Week 2 will be the 26th of June to the 3rd of July. This was a little bit unsettled, actually, with lower pressure um, all, over the place, all over the place, really. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly, see what that's doing. So that is showing that above average heights through the north and the west of Europe. So it might not be as bad as the mean sea level pressure anomaly looked, actually. Temperature noise are above average, not as hot, but still, nevertheless, in most salmon pink colours. One to three degrees above average, and as far as precipitation is concerned, next week, or the week after next, I should say, drier than average, more southern air, still a little bit on the wet side, though, out to the north and west. That looks like it's trending back towards higher pressure there. Week three is <laughs> going to be the third to the 10th of July. Let's see what this one's showing. So uh, we start to get a little bit of high pressure maybe up towards Iceland. Meanwhile, low pressure is running in to the south of the country. You have the 500 millibar heights looking. So uh, they're showing above average heights through the North Atlantic. Probably some lower pressure through here. Lower, not necessarily low pressure, but remember. Temperatures are looking uh, warm again as well. Once more, we're in most salmon Pink colours, one to three degrees above average. Quite hot there. Precipitation wise, we're back to looking wetter to our south, really. Uh, drier to the north, maybe, and sort of we're in a no man's land somewhere between the two. Week four will be the 10th to the 17th of July. Let's have a look at this one. Higher pressure returning towards Scotland and also Scandinavia, still with lower pressure. To the cell. 500 millibar height shown an area of above average heights taking over across the north and the west of Europe. It should turn warmer, I think. Doesn't necessarily show it, but I think that we could turn uh, hotter again. Above average temperatures, anyway. And uh, precipitation looks like that. So once more, we're looking pretty wet down here. 
but dry through there. I suspect that's a drier, hotter week in reality. Okay, we're cooking with gas now, aren't we? <laughs> week five will be the 17th, 24th of July. Let's have a look. And signs of high pressure becoming ever stronger, actually, across the north of uh, Europe. 500 millibar height still showing that area of above average heights anchored and rooted across the north and the west of Europe. The temperature normally is still solidly above average. We're not alone, most of Europe above average too, and precipitation. Um, uh, so it's probably down a little bit wetter. Generally, it's still quite wet to the south. That's been a feature through the summer. Also, a bit wetter up here, mm, but still dry around there. So, I suspect that's still dry and hot in reality. And then, week six finally will be the 24th to the 31st of July. Here we go. And still no change. High pressure dominates close to the UK and Ireland. The 500 millibar height anomaly. That show no change either. And by this point, we will be well and truly in uh, an extended drought, of course. Whatever the precipitation anomalies are showing, you know, with all these weeks after weeks after weeks of high pressure and bringing hot, dry conditions, we will by the end of July be firmly in drought conditions, of course. Temperatures are still above average, um, not just for us, but for most parts of Europe as well. Um, precipitation looks like that. So, largely on the drier than average side. Okay, so, if this is right, we're in for another hot, long, hot summer. You know, if this is like a, a direct comparison to last year. Um, and, and, yeah, we'll be having two back-to-back -back very hot summers, which can happen. We have that in 75 and 76, and I would have thought this is, like, comparable, really. So, we'll sell it, Panta. It's only a forecast and a projection, but if this is right, we're well and truly in a long, hot, drought summer now. So, let's wait and see what happens. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And uh, we'll have another update for you next week. Next week's update, I think... I'll last Saturday of June, so I think that will be on Friday, okay, so uh, next on Friday, uh, we will of course look at the wider European outlook and scenario, though, with this one on Tuesday, we're going to be back shortly with weekend forecast, 10 to 14 day, and also be 5th last of the update, but for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.